Hi guys and thank you so much for watching as always, uh, today we're going to be doing another how to and this how to is to show you how you can hide files, folders, whatever you really want inside a simple JPEG image um, which unless you know what you're doing would just literally seem like just an image so it's quite a nice way to hide things um, if you want to send something uh, to somebody else who knows exactly the process um, you can hide some stuff around so um, basically I'll take you through step by step, it's not the easiest thing to do in the world um, it's a bit fiddly sometimes, but hopefully if you just follow me step by step, we should be able to get through this. Okay, so, first things first, is uh, we need to create a folder um, that we're going to be doing our work inside. So I'm just going to, well I've created the folder already. Um, I'm going to put it in local um, drive C. Um, it's just, for the purposes of what we're doing, it's just easy to store it there. Um, I've called the folder secret. And this is what we're working with at the moment. This is the image that we're going to be hiding everything in, which is just simply my logo and then we've got a secret to um, a secret word document and basically we're going to shove a video in there as well just to show you the actual size um, change so I mean if you look on the image right now it's what 72.2 kilobytes so it's a very small image file uh, so first things first what you need to do is we need to use either WinRAR, WinZip or whatever compression uh, software you use um, to actually get these into a zip file so basically select the things that you want to hide uh, don't select the image itself just select the things that you want to actually hide inside the image uh, right click um, use WinZip or WinRAR like I said um, and add it to a zip file just wait for this to finish um, no it's okay right so now we've got um, a zip file here this zip file now contains these three um, these three files so next thing you want to do and this is the um, tricky part so I've already um, got the uh, script here, um, what we need to do is we need to open a command prompt. Um, so basically you do a search, um, do cmd for command, I'm going to right click and just get it as, run as administrator, it just makes life a little bit easier I find. So what we're going to do is now is we're going to tell command to look in the secret folder. So we're already in C, um, so what we need to do is um, cd, change directory, and then it'll be forward slash and mine's, my folder's called secret your folder, whatever you've named your folder just put in forward slash the name of the folder so now it's looking in C drive, secret okay so this script here is what we're going to be using so basically let me just quickly run through it so it's copy forward slash B and then the name of the actual JPEG the, the JPEG is this one here so the actual image that we're hiding everything in so mine's called Mulray uh, so it's mulray.jpg as you can see um, plus we want to add secret.zip so my zip file is called secret yours is whatever you called it like you know whatever the name of the folder usually will actually be what's inside there so it's um, mine's called secret so it's add secret.zip if it's a RAR file then it'll secret.ra and then basically after that do a space and then just type in the actual name that you want the JPEG to be called so I am a secret JPEG. I'm calling mine I am a secret because just for the purposes of what we're doing right now. Obviously, if you were to send this, then you don't want to call it a secret because then somebody would be like, hmm, what's he got in there? So we're just going to copy this. I'll put this in the um, in the description so that you can actually just copy it out rather than um, you know try to work it from there. So we're going to copy that, and then we're going to go back to command prompt, right click, paste. So here we go, copy, uh, space forward slash b space mulray.jpg space plus space secret dot zip or ra wh whatever you're using space the name of the file that you want to create so I am a secret and then obviously you want it as a JPEG so dot JPEG so press enter uh, one file copied and then suddenly you see another image has just suddenly appeared so this image click on it it's just my logo again it's called I am secret now but the way you know it's worked is because if you right click on it and click properties this is just a simple JPEG image, but it's 87.2 megabytes now, rather than what it was before, which was 72.2 kilobytes. So it's it's jumped in size quite a lot because we know for a fact that this is now hidden inside there. So you could send this to somebody. Um, literally, like I say, you can open it. You can try and do anything you want with it. You can look at properties. You can look at details. It's not going to tell you anything basically about what's inside there. Um, and to a layperson this is a very nice way to hide things now once you've sent it to somebody obviously that person or yourself if you've hidden something in there you want to be able to get it back 
So the way to do this is um, we need to change the extension, uh, the file extension, because at the moment it's a JPEG image. And we don't want it to be a JPEG image anymore because that's the computer saying it's just an image. You know, it can't do anything with it. You can't extract it. You can't do anything with it. So trick to this is, um, well, the first things first, the easiest way to do this is go into settings, go into your control panel. Then we want to go to appearance and personalization. We want to go to folder options, get this uh, folder options uh, part up here, then go to view. And then we're just going to go down here and then we want to find hide extensions for known file types and uncheck that box. Click apply, click OK, get rid of all that, and now suddenly you can see that the actual extensions are actually added to the file names. So what we need to do then is change this from a JPEG to a zip file. So we're going to rename it, um, and it's, it's only going to rename this part at the moment, but we basically want to rename the extension. So go to this and type in zip or raw, you know, whatever you're using, so it'll be zip or raw. And basically, then once you've changed that over to a zip, click enter, you'll get a warning. If you change the file extension, the file might become unusable. Are you sure you want to change it? Click yes. Okay, so now this is a zip file. So basically, I'm going to just go to 7-zip, I'm going to extract the files. Um, before, it was just an image. Now, it's not an image anymore. So we want to um, go to 7-zip, I'm just going to extract the files. Uh, we're going to extract it right here um, into a folder called I am a secret. Click OK. And suddenly, we are now have a folder which has all the documents inside and the video. Um, yeah, like I say, it's, it's not the most straightforward thing in the world to do, but it's a bit of fun. But you can hide a lot of stuff inside an image, basically. And again, if you don't really know, you know, what to do, this is a very clever way of actually hiding something so somebody else will actually find those files. Um, yeah, it's kind of straightforward, but I just wanted to show you how to do that. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, um, and I'll catch you on the next video, guys. So uh, take care of each other, and goodbye.